Cold weather can only mean one thing, comfort food. And nothing fights off the chill better than a big pot of hot chili. Chef Chinoa French from the Culinary Innovation Center joins us today to tell us how to make a brand new recipe for beef chili. Is that right? Yeah, this is this is a chili day beef chili. And so the only thing that's a little bit different is it's, we're using stew meat, which okay. I think a lot of people think of chili as ground beef. Sure. So um, this is a real simple, easy recipe. Uses one of those slow easy slow cooker. Um, if you don't have one, you can always do this on the stove. Okay. Um, the recipe can be converted if you need to. Good. We're going to start here with about two and a half pounds of chuck stew meat. Sure. Um, if you don't have chuck stew meat, you can also use round. And if you have a whole um, pot roast, you can cut your own own meat into cubes. So okay. whichever you'd prefer, about two and a half pounds. And we're going to start and dump that right here right in, the in the bottom of our crock pot. Perfect. So that goes in. I like to do a layer with my meat on the bottom. Make sure you have enough moisture on top. as you go gotcha. in there too. So right. next thing we're going to add is an onion. Sure. This is just one medium onion diced finer or larger depending on how you like it in your chili okay. um, and you can use white or yellow whatever you have All right. goes right on top on top of that what and then else? we're gonna do um, we'll go next with the beans so this sure. is two cans of black beans okay. make sure you drain and rinse them really? it's important to do that if you don't like black beans you can switch them to kidney or garbanzo or whatever else you prefer okay. um, two cans of that black beans. And what do you have over there? You have some salsa or what is that? This in the is bowl? actually um, diced tomatoes in sauce. Oh. And this is going to be your liquid. We're doing okay. a braise or a slow moist heat cooking process, mm. so you need some moisture and some liquid to help that out. Oh, I see. This is just a regular six or 15 ounce can. Gotcha. Um, the important thing is is that you don't drain these cuz you need like I said all that liquid to I help see. the the braising process. So okay. this whole whole can goes in right Very on top. Good. I'm going to give this a quick stir before we add yeah. all of our seasoning. It's perfect. Throw this on first thing in the morning. Yeah. And be ready in the evening or even at lunch when you put come a in. lid on yeah. and, and walk away. So I'm going to stir this to get it kind of incorporated. Okay. And then we're going to add um, it's a teaspoon of cumin and a little bit, two teaspoons of chili powder. Sure. So that'll give you some of that flavor. Yeah. Um, chili powder will give you a little heat. So if you want yep. a, um, little more. a little more, you can just make sure that you know it reduces and it will build in flavor okay. as the day goes on. <laughs> you can always add, but you can't go backwards. That's true. So get this nice and mixed up. Okay. To top it off with a little bit of salt and pepper. Very good. And then just that in there. Yeah. And then, like I said, one more good stir. Yeah. This is one of the quicker crock pot, crock pot recipes. It only needs about five, five and a half hours. Okay. So like you said, if you want to do it at lunch or if you're going to Serve it earlier, or you can come home later. Sure. Um, lid on. Obviously, you and can't. And on high, or what are you going to put on? Um, this one is on high for five Six. hours. Okay. So if you you're going to do it longer than that, make sure you adjust your time. If you do it on the stove, you're going for probably about two hours fork tender. Okay. So let this run all What's day. What's this for? This is salsa. So this is also that point where you can oh. add add your flavor or extra kick or whatever that you want. This is a cup of salsa, favorite salsa at mm -hmm. home, mild, medium, hot. Um, right before you're ready to serve. Oh, so when I you see. get home at night. Um, You've gotten ready for the dinner table. Just take your lid off, add this in there, give it one quick last stir to make sure that this gets all the way hot. And you're ready to roll. And you're ready to go. Look yeah. at that great looking beef chili. Yeah, and you can add whatever toppings sour cream, cheese, there's a little parsley on there. Mm -hmm. some, some Fritos. Fritos. <laughs> yep. If you want tortillas, yeah. whatever you like. That looks great. And what an easy way to fix a great comfort food. Absolutely. Thanks so much for coming to the show. For complete recipe details on this chili or any of our other recipes, go to our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.